Programs, welcome back to Arc Neo Reviews, where I swear I keep recording videos. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm just not too happy with how they turn out, and so I'm not posting them. Uh, welcome to me testing out the new ring light to be a little bit more proper around here. But, uh, today I'm going to go ahead and, uh, touch a little bit more into the world of third party. We're going to go ahead and look at the Iron Factory, not Jetfire, I don't remember what, uh, what his name was for their, you know, we can't call it Jetfire thing. Uh, as usual, it will hopefully be on the screen right now. But, uh, yeah, this thing, this thing is genuinely awesome. I think it is my favorite Jetfire figure that I've ever seen. I do own a couple different Jetfires. I uh, reviewed two of them, not all three. But, <laughs> yeah, this guy, this guy is great. Um, right off the bat in the Jet mode, you can see... Lots and lots of sculpted detail all over. He's got the red down the wings, little bits of, you know, metallic gunmetal and just black here and there. Uh, clear cockpit that reveals nothing inside except for the little hooks where it's actually connecting itself. Uh, some blue up there on top of the little thruster things. Um, there's a port right there. I'm sure there's something you can put in this. I don't have directions for this guy, so I am kind of just guessing on things. Uh, these thrusters are on ball joints, as tradition, so you can angle these around. If you want, you also can just pop these cannons off. Uh, just a little rectangular peg there. A little er, hole here, peg there. Someday I will start getting those straight. Uh, just for sake of showing off the figure, you know, the, the jet mode itself a little more, I'll go ahead and pop those off. Looks really good. Um, little landing gear here on the bottom side. Uh, these landing gear are actually part of his gun, which is a really nice touch, I think. A very clever way of getting around that. I do have his little flight stand uh, pegged in already. He did come with a stand, which is always nice. So that he can just go right on there. Um, I think that technically this is actually just kind of his robot mode flight stand peg thing. Uh, again, I, I'm having to make guesses and just work things out. Um, this does just come right off. You can see it's got a little cutout right there to go around this section of the gun. Pretty clean underside. Here you can see a little factory error where they didn't paint the little red spot right there. Not a big deal. Can fix that myself very easily if I ever care. Um, these guns are also removable if you wish. If you want them just a little bit cleaner, you know, pure jet mode. Or as uh, will be needed for later, you can just go ahead and put them on the other way too. Uh, the wings are adjustable as you would expect with this mold or, you know, this character. All in all, just a really really nice jet mode um he does also come with uh this end for the little flight stand as well which uh let's see let's go ahead and actually pop the gun off right now as you can see just a really long peg going on up in there and uh, i think this is so if you don't want to use you know if you don't want the gun on there i think this will uh Nope, that is too small to go in there. Never mind. It, it, for all I know, I might have accidentally mixed this up with a different figure. I <laughs> I do keep my very small collection of third-party stuff together. Uh, and, and so, yeah, I, that might not even be from him. It might be from something else, and I'm just getting it crossed. But he comes with the one that you saw him actually on. That one I know was his. So, uh, me screwing up in the middle of the video aside, let's go ahead and get this guy into robot mode. Optionally, and I'm going to take the option, you can pull this whole section off. As you can see, there's two little tabs here on the back. They're pegged in right there, and then the main peg uh, main peg right there. Um, it does take away his wings, unfortunately, because I know, you know this is technically part of his uh, super armor or whatever, so it'd be nice if he could, you know, have the wings without all the red, but is what it is. This guy is technically Legends class. But while we're here, go ahead and fold up the wings on these double hinges and then rotate them up. Then uh, 
if you can get it to go, go ahead and just slide this peg down. Uh, but like I said, you can do the whole transformation with this still on. It's just easier to take it off and get it out of the way. I will also go ahead and turn that one around, get that out of the way as well. Start by coming up here, folding up the nose cone, little section there, bigger one there. We know how this works. This is a pretty standard transformer. Fold all this down, the head will come out. Let's go ahead and angle this head back so you can fold this panel in. There's that part done. Come down here, unpeg the arm from the side of the leg right there. Bring out this little assembly and it'll snap in up there. Go ahead and fold this open and fold out the hand. There is a little uh, slot right there and there are tabs on either side of the gray mount right there. So make sure that pegs in when you close it up. That way it'll keep the wrist from rotating in places you don't want it to. Same thing over here. And worth mentioning actually, this seems to be a common thing with this guy. You can see these two little sheared off pegs right there. And there's just the tiniest little divot for those to go into. But they're still attached on this side. I find that weird because, you know, when I got this guy, as you do, you go look up a video to see how he works. I watched Bobby Skullface, and the figure he was looking at had the exact same problem. Sheared off on this side, perfectly fine on that side. So I don't know what's up with that. Um, but go ahead, open up the legs at that little section there. Don't drop the figure and slide them down. And it's a little hard to show, but you've got these little pegs right here on this section of uh, what's going to be the knee joint. And there's actually, there's a second slot down here that it was pegged in for in the jet mode. Now we're going to peg it into that more forward one up here. Um, these are not hard to get pegged into, which I appreciate. The tolerances on this guy are actually very, very good to where, yeah, these pegs are basically just naturally in the right spot, <laughs> just on their own. Uh, go ahead and fold these little skirt panels down. I You don't have to fold them out the way I had them. I just find that... Uh, it fits underneath this little knee pad section better if you just rotate them out like that. That's an optional thing. That's a me thing. You don't have to do it. Um, go ahead, fold out the foot. Reach up under and fold out the toes. Come to the back here, and this little section here is on a double hinge that will come down and form the heel. And in this mode, it's actually holding on. It's not pegged in or anything. It's just shaped so that it holds on to this and helps lock this ball joint into place. This thruster is not supposed to move around, but uh, obviously it does. But let's go ahead and finally get the backpack on. You can see you've got two little slots right there, two tabs right here. We know how slots and tabs work. And there you've got your little jet fire in his robot mode. And this guy looks absolutely great. Uh, bring him in here as best I can. I can actually get close-ups on head sculpts, even on tiny figures. The power of the ring light. I am unstoppable now. <laughs> but yeah, this guy looks really, really good in my opinion. And he's very poseable for his size. The head is on a ball joint that is also on its own little stock. So you get, you know, it's stiff, but, you know, you get some forward and back on the head itself. As well as, you know, he can look way up. He can look down a little bit. He does have a thick chest. Uh, some side to side, full rotation. And you know what, just for fun right now, we'll go ahead and rip off his head entirely. Because he comes with the masked face as well, and the masked face is better. Um, you, If you're careful, you can still transform him with this face on. 
these fins will just barely clear folding in for the jet mode. I prefer not to risk it. But yeah, there we go. There we've got him with his little mast face. Looks really, really good in my opinion. Um, great range on the shoulders. You actually have two different uh, outward joints to choose from there. So you've got all that. Full rotation if the wings don't get in the way. Double jointed elbow for the full rotation. Wrists are actually a 5mm peg. So they can rotate as well as you can rip them off and give him a different hand. He does come with a pair of open hands, the classic uh, closed hands. See, here's the, here's the other open hand. Uh, a little pair of fists as well as the right hand can point. See, it's pointy. I don't know what else I'll say. It's a pointy hand. Um, you do have to use this hand for the uh, transformation. It's actually the only hand small enough to fit in. Or frankly, if you want, you can just leave it handless and then you don't have to worry about turning this section around. So that that is another option you have. Um, limited, but you know, at least it's there. Rotation at the waist. Ab crunch. Uh, these little skirtings will move out of the way. Uh, they like to move it as one in this mode, which is, it's, it's fine, it works. But lets you bring the leg out all the way. Bring this forward. He can only kick far forward about that far. Um, not very much backwards. Double jointed knee for a really good range right there, though. And then the feet are, or the ankles are a ball joint. So you get some forward, some back, some tilt, a bit of rotation. Fold the toes down, fold the foot down. Again, just really, really great range of motion on this guy. Um, depending on how armored or unarmored you want him, these sections do also pop off. It's just another, you know, 5 mil peg. These ones don't really have to turn around or anything the way the ones on the forearm do. And while I'm thinking about it, aka I forgot and I'm going to show it now. Um, these sections, go ahead and open them up back here. Then uh, use this joint here to just give yourself easier access. You've got his like, you know, big shoulder cannons as well. Obviously, you can deploy them in the jet mode as well if you want. They're done in a molded clear blue plastic that doesn't want to focus. Then have a layer of gunmetal gray over the top. They look really, really good. Minor scuff on mine. Again, don't care. Got this guy's second hand. <laughs> uh, he fell over. Same thing, so yeah, peg that on. Obviously, you do want to make sure you keep the screw holes in the middle just to make him look, you know, a little bit cleaner, a little bit nicer. Then let's see, let's go ahead and give him his blaster. Now that you can see it, you know, not as uh, hampered by the jet mode. Very, very clean looking double barrel blaster. Looks great. Little bit of a little bit of gray or silver paint back there. Overall, yeah, this is this is such a cool figure. I have so much fun with him already. And um as well as as hopefully you're seeing in the pictures going by right now, he's also a very good scale to go with the new age Starscream, which just happens to be the third party legend Starscream that I own. So Overall, yeah, um, if you can get this guy for a good price, I I have to give him the highest of recommendations. I'm sure, I, I know for a fact there are other, you know, smaller, or not smaller, but you know, other small, you know, third-party jet fires out there. This guy, he's so simple and straightforward to transform. I love that he's not overly complicated. Which is funny because as I understand, uh, 
Iron Factory figures tend tend at least in this era tended to be a little bit overcomplicated. So I'm glad that he was the exception and ended up being a fantastic figure. Cannot recommend him enough. So go ahead, get him standing here. This light is really throwing me off, so I'm uh, having a hard time doing simple things with a figure. But on that note, I will say once again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.